Hello everyone and welcome to the main story quest line. Is that a main storyline quest? It should be main storyline quest, right? Main storyline quest. Nah, nah, who cares? I don't I don't want to change the name of the show. It's, it's cool. okay. MSQL man. Yeah, MSQL. That sounds better. Yeah, MSQL is so like we just keep rolls it off MSQL. the tongue. My name is Mick. I'm one of your hosts alongside Well, what's your favorite Final Fantasy? Final Fantasy 13? 13, okay. So Joshua Lightning Tan. Yes. Yeah. Joshua the Lightning Tan. My Actually, waifu. Uh, my waifu. <laughs> Joshua Lightning, my waifu. Lightning is my waifu Tan. Uh, we are watching the match here between Jonathan Chua and Gregory Vargis. And if you're new to all of this, this is the Final Fantasy card game uh, that came out maybe like 10 months ago. Uh, we are streaming it for your viewing pleasure. And if you have any comments or if you have any questions, make sure that you, you put it in the comments below. Yes. And uh, yeah, let us know. Uh, you know what? Let us know what you feel about the stream. Uh, yeah. Remember, you can catch us on twitch.tv slash games and uh, yeah, you can find replays on youtube.com slash games. All right. Yes, that is correct. How? How are you? Joshua? Good. Good. You're doing good. You still remember how to play the game? Yes, more or less. You you, ha you are a what we call a lapsed player. Yes, I haven't, I haven't played, played, haven't played time, since yeah. Opus 3 came out. So Opus, yeah. I'm not too familiar with the Opus 3 cards. Yeah. It's okay, man. I'll, I'll guide you through it. In okay. fact, we'll, yeah. We'll yeah, I mean, it's always good to have a, a noob on stream so noob. I can noob. be the questions that people <laughs> the, might ask. <laughs> hey, man. I, I want to know what's happening. Yeah. Oh, man. This is bad. This is, uh, this is not ideal. But it's okay. I guess it's okay. Uh... Alright, so Gregory here playing uh, what looks to be, whoa, spicy, he's playing a wind earth deck. Very so cool. what kind very of deck cool. is a wind earth deck? So wind earth deck is like, ah, man, it, it's very hard to, it's very hard to pin down exactly what it does. I, I have a homebrew wind earth deck, but I think you're playing around stuff like, um, you know, you're playing around just powerful cards, just ah, extremely powerful cards. Uh, you know, just straight up removal. Cards like Dorgan, cards like uh, and maybe you can bring up Dorgan. D O R G A N N E. D O R G A N N. Yeah. There we go. Uh, cards like Dorgan, cards like uh, uh, Vincent. Oh, why is it so big? Why did it get so big? Oh, oh, oh. Does it? Does oh, it what happened? Hmm, that's weird. That's weird. Why doesn't it follow so, the? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. That's Dog, strange. Uh, three mana. Yeah. Is it called mana in this game? Uh, three crystals. Three crystals. Uh, three crystals. crystals. Yeah, yeah. I three know. I, I, that's the thing. Like we we are like magic guys, right? So you know, we just call it mana. Yeah. But actually, it's <laughs> three it's crystals. Crystals. It's crystals. Oh, I know why. I know why. Okay. Okay. There we go. Nice. There we go. Nice. That's the one. Uh yeah. So three crystals is a six thousand. Uh, you know, it's just sets? straight up. Yeah, Decent straight sets? up removal. Uh, if you want, you know, Vincent, uh, cards like Cecil has, uh, has, has some good, uh, value, uh, you know, but Gregory here plays the, the other version of Riku, so maybe let's bring that up, uh, the hero version of Riku where you can mill your opponent silly, and, uh, Jonathan here seems to be playing Lightning Ice, Lightning Ice is the, double K, double K, uh, Lightning Ice here, is the is what we call the meta game here in Singapore, yeah that one. Uh, and well, it's okay, I guess. Oh, no. So what's the what's the strategy for Jonathan's deck? So Jonathan, what he wants to do, burn down your creatures with all the lightning guys. I see. And uh, you know, try to tempo you out. So he's got Capricious Reaper on the battlefield as well as a. Uh, what's his name? A Genesis. So Genesis is really powerful. Ooh. Genesis enters the battlefield, tap target creature. Maybe let's, let's yeah, look let's up bring Genesis, it up. yeah. So Genesis, very, very strong card. Four mana. It's a 7,000. Enters the battlefield, tap target creature. It does not, uh, sorry, dull target creature. It does not, uh, dull and freeze a creature, yeah. Oh, that's pretty sick. That's 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 uh, actual sickness, yeah. And then it's got a second ability, which is very uh, underutilized. It's very difficult to actually activate. And when it deals damage to your opponent, your opponent discards one card from his or her hand. 
Oh, that's quite important. That is very important. That is since you're since you're running on tempo, I would say the losing the card from the opponent's hand would actually be able to slow down the options that they might have. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the whole point. Uh, you know, Capricious Reaper is a you know four crystal for eight thousand, and basically you can't touch him. Can't touch this. Why does he have ability? Yeah, it's not bad. Uh, when when you target him. Uh, when you choose him for an ability or a summon, uh, your opponent discards card. Oh, so Not it when actually you, when pairs, your opponent, you know, it pairs well with Genesis. Okay. Yeah, so you know you don't want to touch the the Reaper unless you like kill the Reaper uh, right out uh, right off the bat. Jonathan here, uh, sorry Gregory here, able to you know, his Cecil actually does some work. Uh, so every time he takes a point of damage, he gets to deal a uh, uh, you know a forward. 5,000 damage. Yeah, the, the, this, this Cecil, yeah. Okay, and then click here. Yeah. So Cecil, when you receive damage, choose one forward opponent control, you may deal it 5,000 damage. Here's the kicker. When you attack with a Capricious Reaper, uh, Cecil has to choose a forward. So you choose a forward so and then the Reaper's ability triggers. So no matter what, you have to discard a card? No matter what, you have to discard but a card. So then the Reaper becomes a Genesis. Oh damn. Oh damn. Oh damn. But only with Cecil on board. Uh, and he has to deal, yeah, he has to deal damage. So, uh, Kind of a non-bow on Gregory's side but that's why he chose to, to start the game off with. He has uh, trays on the battlefield and trays are actually quite, uh, quite good. Let me bring it up. Uh, trays are, well, they, they got a lot of value, you know, vales, the vales. How do I spell it? T-R-E-Y. -E T-R-E-Y. -E yeah. Uh, and Trey here, his ability oh. is, if Trey is active, can't be chosen by opponent's abilities. If Trey is dull, cannot be chosen by opponent's summons. Awesome, right? Yeah, so it protects itself pretty well. Yeah, it protects itself pretty well. And uh, here's the cool thing. If you... Uh, you know, it, it plays some cards like sometimes it plays Asura, sometimes it plays Baralai, uh, and so you can untap your untap your guy at will. You know, yeah, you so can, you can protect it, it as you as you need it. Yeah, as you need it, and when you go to attack, you know, when you when you go to it attack, yeah, it automatically gets protected by summons. Yeah, yeah, <coughs> yeah, and uh, the cool thing is that um, Gregory here has uh, what's his name. So that's a seven. Gregory here has Arif on the battlefield, okay. And so, so Arif is, uh, you know, he can't. He basically, Jonathan can't. Uh, Jonathan's backups can't touch Gregory's uh, uh, forwards. Okay, let's bring yeah. Arif up. Yeah, if you control a category seven forward, it costs one less. Okay, fine. Uh, not very important, but uh, it, it's cost reduction is good. Cost reduction is always good. Uh, the forwards you control cannot be chosen by your opponent's backup ability. So, uh, it, it's very rare to see, let's say, uh, mono, sorry, uh, lightning ice or lightning decks now play Lulu. Uh, but to damage yeah, your forwards. Correct. But uh, things like uh, yeah, like what Jonathan just played, a uh, Seymour. Seymour can't touch any of uh, of Gregory's backup uh, forwards. Um, things like Red Mage, Red Mage, the the fire version of Red yeah, Mage, you know, because it sometimes you need to combo up to remove one of the creatures to exactly. be able to do extra additional damage exactly. to remove it. Yeah. So it sometimes it may make combat a bit awkward, right? Yeah. Uh. Okay. So here we go. The four cards get milled away. One of them, unfortunately, is a Shantoto, which I think Gregory would would definitely appreciate right now. Uh. Not saying that, it, you know, not saying that he won't. But he's down to four four life points. Who? Uh, sorry, Gre Gregory, Gregory is down, down to, to three. three life points. Uh, Jonathan is at f uh, taken three damage. So it's still Gregory pretty close. But four. who has the better bot at the moment? Right say? now, it feels like Gregory has the better bot. Uh, it depends on what. All right. So Jonabat, yeah, Jonabat is gonna freeze Trey and seven. But uh, let's see what Gregory has in store. So they don't untap for the next turn? Yeah, they don't they don't activate. They don't activate. activate. Okay, so uh masked masked woman. 
going to destroy the Laguna. I think you should destroy the Laguna because if Jonathan here drops a Squall and Gregory is going to be losing a lot of cards. Uh, let's see. I think he should just pass the turn and leave up the Tama. Tama is an incredibly powerful Okay, let's bring that up. Yeah, yeah. How do I spell it? T-A-M-A. Tama. Uh, Tama from Opus 1. Uh, basically a mainstay in all... Uh, yeah, it's basically a mainstay for all you know. Just final, you know, Final Fantasy. Uh, sorry for all Earth decks. The the yeah, mm. really very powerful, very very powerful effect. Uh, you pay X and then you tap it and then, uh, sorry, you pay X and then you dull it, and then you put Tama in the break zone. So basically, you destroy your own Tama. You yeah, you sacrifice, the sacrifice your Tama. Your tama. Uh, but uh, you, you can play, play one this character at instant card, yeah. speed, right? And you can play at instant speed. So you can do, do it how... at the end of your opponent's turn. Do you know how good that feels? You can surprise him with, I don't know what what's good in his deck to bring. Uh, Shantoto. 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 Okay, let's, the let's end bring. step Shantoto. How do I spell yeah. Shantoto? Uh, just search like Shan. 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 Yeah, yeah, Shantoto. Is... Yeah. Looks like somebody's been searching it up on this computer. Yes. Ha 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 ha! It's probably me. Uh, so Shantoto, yeah, there we go, there we go, Shantoto, if Shantoto is on the field, it gains elements, fire, ice, wind, earth, lightning, and water, so basically can produce, uh, Ooh. produce crystals of, of any, any color. color, uh, but it looks like J uh, Gregory had to give up his entire hand to cast that, and Jonathan here ha still has, uh, Devout on the battlefield, I think, um, but when Shantoto enters the battlefield, remove all forwards from the game, full stop, that's it. Wow, oh. okay, so Gregory, Gregory just one, one hit away. Yeah, Gregory just one hit away and uh, he needs something good in these two cards. Uh, it, okay, he yeah, he's got a Yuffie. He's got a Yuffie. Okay, Yuffie so at least he has a blocker. Yeah, he's got a blocker. He, he can chump for one, one turn. Which is okay. I think that's fine. That's not, you know. But if Jonathan has a dull... Yeah, if he has a Dao or if he's, you know, A, if he's got a Dao or, you know, if he's got a second creature that he can, uh, he with. can cast haste on. Because he's got two, whoa, okay. So, it, it, since he's got two, um, what you call it, uh, red mages. Oh, what's he doing? Alright, so double, yeah, double Cyclops. So Cyclops are uh, all, you know, all your opponents forwards minus, uh, get minus 3,000 power. Oh, so he does it twice and it's minus 6,000. And then and there goes there the... goes the Yuffie. Yeah, there goes the Yuffie. So sad, Yuffie. And Jonathan managed to Yuffie. swing in for Leto. Yeah, uh, Jonathan wins the game. Awesome. Uh, for those of you who are not aware, this is actually a best of one. Yes. Unfortunately. Fortunately or unfortunately, it's the best of one. So, yeah. But this means it's you get okay. to see the next game very soon, right? Yeah, I hope so. Uh, yeah, we have we have replays of the previous week, so don't you know? Make sure that you stay tuned. It looks like Gregory and Jonathan gonna play another game, so let's just let's, let's just, just keep going. Yeah, right? yeah, it's good. So we can because see more cards. We can see more cards that they yeah, we can see more, we more didn't play. get to see in the first place. Yeah, uh, you know, I want to see that. You know, it's always like Vincent Yuffie. Full stop. No, no, I hope still the most popular cards now. No, because like Yuffie, you get to play for free if ah, you have Vincent. I see. Yeah, uh, and there are some versions of the like mono, um, mono, uh, oh, sorry, mono Earth deck that just runs Yuffie. That's it. What's because, so good about Yuffie? Uh, it gives plus one thousand. Eh? Bring out Yuffie. Eh? Oh, okay. Brings uh gives it, plus oh, one thousand. Yeah. yeah, plus one thousand to. To uh, Vincent, that yeah, that Yuffie. Yuffie! Uh, if you control card named Vincent, cost for playing Yuffie onto the battlefield becomes zero. zero. Whoa, Yay. free cards, that's always good. Free cards, free is good. Uh, and then card named Vincent, you control against plus 1000 and Brave, which means that you can, you can swing Attack in with Vincent. And block. And block. And then activate his, his uh, yeah his his crazy insane powerful ability. Okay, so what did Jonathan just do? Uh, so Jonathan just you know went for a devout and I think a red mage. He gave up a few, uh, he gave up quite a few cards to to get there. Capricious Reaper here and just passes the time. I think Capricious Reaper is his best card against Gregory. But Gregory here can just you know kill it. 
Easy, easy peasy. So who would you say is favorite in this matchup? Uh man, it's hard to tell. I think uh I I think Gregory uh has a little bit of an edge. If he can stick a guy onto the battlefield, I think it's fine. Stick uh, uh, with with protection or does he need with protection? Uh, with some with some form of protection. So either uh, a Maria on the battlefield or an Arif on the battlefield, then I think a guy would be would be very strong. Ooh, wow, another capricious. Wow, but double capricious reaper doesn't choose to attack because that tray is now huge mongus. So, or uh, there's a possibility that he'll lose the tray. There we go, a guy. I think if he can land the guy and then have some uh have some backup. So. Uh, if he casts the the Arif here, it will be quite good. All right, monk. Uh, doesn't yeah he, he it's okay. He's gonna take two points of damage. It's okay, man. Forget about it. Uh, yep, oh, so, oh, it's oh wait, can it? Can it? Oh, it can't be it can't be affected by summons. That's the one. Okay, yeah. so Shantoto gets milled, and. Oh, Rydea against me. Okay, so Rydea is um, primarily right. used uh, R-Y-D-I-A. Yeah. I think? Rydea? There we go, there we go. Rydea. Uh, this is the one from Opus 3. When it enters a battlefield, or when it enters a field, search for one summon and add it to your so hand. So what summon do you think you could have to okay. use it for? So, if I think... If I think... Uh, Gregory here is being cheeky. Uh -huh. I think it'll be uh Hashmal. Ooh. And then it'll be uh what's what's the other card? Hashmal and then Ultima. Oh nice. So Hashmal will give all your guys uh one thousand uh sorry, it will give all your guys plus one thousand and you choose a job or an element. Okay. okay. So you choose light. You choose the element of light. They all gain plus one thousand and gain and light. Gain, okay. Okay. And then you cast Ultima. And Ultima says, okay, if you control a light character, it costs uh, it costs seven, it's a summon. But if you control a light character, it costs two less, so it costs five. Five, yes. And you you basically destroy, you remove from the game all, all non-light characters. On oh, so it can be a one-sided. Yeah, it's a one-sided board light. Oh, okay, nice. but but then you 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 mill the number of cards that were they, removed. That okay, way. okay. Yeah. So yeah, pretty pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty strong. Pretty damn good. Oh, but now yeah. So Laguna, yeah, squall three in play. Squall Laguna combo, and uh, going to you know make Gregory mill uh, this guy. Yeah, that a Vincent. Uh, yeah, yeah. mill of Vincent off the damage. It looks like Jonathan here able to 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 eke out. Uh, probably probably going to eke out the win. The seven a little bit late. Beats in. I don't like him. I don't like the play here. So I you should you keep it back cast, and block. Yeah, I, either that or I think you cast the deleter. What does deleter do? Let's so see. uh yeah, let's look up deleter. The the five crystal point deleter. This one is, she's good. She's good in this matchup because everything your opponent's trying to do is trying to, you know, has to target deleter and deleter is then a ten thousand, uh. Oh, unit. nice. Yeah, when it's chosen by an ability of a character, your opponent controls break that character. Full stop. Destroy. Then, when Delita is chosen by a summon of your opponent, deal one point of so damage. So, yeah, there's some kind opponent. of vengeance thing going on here. Yeah, yeah. Delita is like, yeah, bring it. Bring it, man. And his, his power is 9,000. It's still quite, it's quite substantial. His power is 9,000! Over 9,000. Yep. Oh, man. Oh. You see, this is why this is why I think the Delita was... Uh, yeah. Would be would be a yeah. better play, this part, cause he's got uh, so he's got Anna Cross, he's got uh what's her name uh Maria, so Delita is like twelve like eleven k. Oh, what's that? okay, what's gonna that? sacrifice the monk here, what to to keep the seven alive. So now the seven is going to be a six thousand seven eight thousand character. And that will easily trade off with a Capricious Reaper. So he's at least, at least delaying it for, for a turn. Yeah, he's delaying it for a turn. Uh, the interesting thing is that Jonathan here has a... Has a Cyclops? No. 
he discarded the Cyclops to to cast the Rigdea. Gonna hit him with the Capricious Reaper, unable yeah, one to. More oh time. no, I think he cast the Cyclops. Okay, one more time. Beat one more time. Okay. How does Gregory get me? What back the, yeah, this, what yeah? does he need? Okay, he this needs a Gabranth. One, he needs a Gabranth. Yeah. Uh, so. Dogon, Dogon, double Dogon's not gonna do it. Uh, so a he needs a Gabranth. Uh, and then, well, that's why I say, like, I think he should have cast the Delita the last turn. Uh, then it would have traded off with two guys. That's yeah, okay, you can trade off, yeah, the, the two guys for is Delita. It, uh, is it too little too late? Yeah, I think it's too late. Like, right now, uh, you know, the, the, it, it wasn't worth to to sacrifice the, the monk at all. Oh, no, he's taking it back. Yeah. I think that was a slight misplay. I, I don't, I, you know... I would have either cast the Emperor because the Emperor, uh, well, in this case, the Emperor is not that strong, mm -hmm. but it's a 9,000 character. Yeah. So which means that it will trade yeah, with yeah, either yeah. Laguna or, or, uh, or uh, what's his name? Yeah, we're still or casting it, Squall, but yeah. yeah, it seems like it's pretty much too late. Yeah, it, it's just stuck in his hand, like, uh, you know, it's stuck in Greg's hand for, it has been stuck there for quite a while. And, uh, yeah, I don't think this is... I, I, man, I don't think this is, is going to be able to go anywhere. Well, the, the thing about it is that the Lita here can block uh, two things. Yes. Yeah, the Lita now is a 11,000 character. So now Jonathan cannot beat through efficiently, but maybe he will draw something that can that probably can, just yeah, win him just, the game. Yeah, he can take one damage. I mean, like, if he draws an Odin, well, he doesn't have enough. Uh, he doesn't have enough uh, crystal points, but you know, he can swing in uh, with Capricious Reaper and a Laguna, but it's not very effective, honestly speaking. So I think it's he could, yeah, he could. Um, what do you call it? So you yeah, could party rather... attack with the Laguna and Squall. And that will probably uh, get a block from one of the smaller guys, like seven. And uh, yeah, I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure what he can do, you know, to to get back into this. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. I I've been proven wrong on many <laughs> occasions. Casters curse. Yeah. Casters curse. Yeah. yeah. I've been uh, many, many, many times. Like, not even, not even funny anymore. Of course. Of course I'm wrong. What is this? Oh, this is a live video. Are we not live? On Facebook or Twitch? Yeah, on Facebook. Let me see. Oh, 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 everything's going crazy. Yeah, we're live. Oh, no, we're connecting. What? Uh-oh. Oh? Who? Yeah, I don't know. Well, we're on Twitch anyway. Yeah, and we're on YouTube stream now. So so you prefer why YouTube? Why we? Yeah, why are we not on on the Facebook. on the Facebook thing? That's very, that's very disconcerting. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now live. Are we? Are we live? Somebody in the chat, let me know. Live video has ended. Yeah, I know. This is 3rd November. So it should be this. Yeah, it should be today, right? But it's just like going over this video over and over again. Unless there's something wrong. Mm. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. Don't worry. Uh, anyway, thanks for joining us. We are going to come back with round 2. There's going to be 3 rounds. Yes. And maybe even more. Who knows? Maybe even more. There's enough players today. Yeah, there for, is. For this thing. Uh, things might happen. Anyway. Uh, we are going to go for a break. Don't go away. Remember, you can join us every Friday for some Final Fantasy action in our main story quest line. Uh, main story line quest. Main story quest line sounds nice. Yeah, main story quest it line. sounds right? proper. No, quest line, quest line is like... This it's like, story it's like line. Yeah, a phrase. Maybe it's like main story line quest line. No, no, no too much. Too much. Story should be with main, shouldn't it? Yeah, main, main story. story. Main story, but yeah. I know it's MSQ quest. Like MSQ's... 
you know, Final Fantasy. MSQ okay. Quest? So MSQQ? No, no, MSQ, <laughs> yeah, MSQQ? 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 MSQQ, more people. Alright, uh, yeah, we're going for a break. I'll put on a replay of last week's tournament. That was awesome. And uh, we'll be right back, so don't go away. <laughs> 